Hey guys, this is another um, pickup review. Uh, so, for another uh, video of uh, stuff I, I got from the Swami. So, well, while well, I was on, you know, while I, I always, you know, I've been showing stuff in 1 6 scale, um, I don't just collect things in 1 6 scale. So I kind of want to show you guys some of the other stuff I got. And so in this batch of stuff, it was mainly kits. And the one when I told you I had gotten one of these jerry cans, I actually got one of them with this plane here. So came I think it was uh, a guy for 10 bucks. It was 10 bucks, something like that. So the planes, the wings in the back came off on while well, I was coming back, but they're glueable. Um, and so the plane, I could just fix it up, uh, paint it up a little better. But I thought it was cool, give me something. Because uh, I have some other planes that I have hanging from a ceiling. And I like to have something like for them to kind of like make it look like maybe they're dog fighting or something so I kind of wanted to get one like this um, also too I was gonna post this video yesterday but I've been having allergies yeah not it's not COVID just allergies um, uh, yeah because my mom was trying to fix the restroom so a uh, bunch of dust in the air kind of fixed my nose so that's the plane I got uh, the other cool thing I got, um, which really surprised me that this guy was selling it for this price. So, I got two kits. So, one of these kits is this Revell German U-Boat. 144 scale. I think it's complete. It, I'm assuming it's complete because um, the other one, that the other kit I'm going to show you looks pretty complete I was able to open it this one's taped up so I don't know if it is or if it's missing some stuff but I mean the weight of it kind of feels like like um, it probably is complete and I just love that artwork on the on the boxes like this it just looks super cool um, so yeah so this is a cool kit um, hopefully I get to build it pretty soon and you know we'll get to see how it looks at some point um, of course the half track is right now one of the main things I'm gonna be focused on fixing and finishing up because it's almost done I just gotta do a few little things now the other kit I got was this German S boat by Airfix now um, I never actually so I have only built one Airfix kit and my experience with Airfix has been pretty good so I was like I saw an Airfix kit I was like okay yeah I really would like to have this now the price for the two kits not each just as a bundle as you know the guy told, told me $15 $15 that's really cheap from what I've looked online on eBay I mean a kit like this is going 40 or 40 plus so I was like wow $40 is not bad I mean uh, $15 is not bad so not bad at all and this one I'm pretty sure it's complete I was looking through the stuff in here has the instructions which is great has all the pieces in this big bag here has the decals right here in the side so um, I'm thinking it's pretty much complete uh, I don't see anything missing that um, yeah so I mean I got I got pretty much everything so that's really cool to have um, and I was just so lucky I, I was able to get these for that price I guess the guy just was trying to sell everything he had because he just was like oh yeah anything on that table any of the any of the kits two for 15 bucks there was only three kits 
and I just thought felt like those kits were were more of the harder to find uh, if you went to like a Hobby Lobby or Michaels you have to be exploring exploring at least in my area um, you would have to be like exploring multiple different ones and uh, I just felt you know I got some cool stuff here you know that price is fantastic um, so yeah so I don't know when the next video is gonna come out right now uh, I got I got some records I kind of want to show you that I picked up. That will be the next video. And I want to show you some magazines I also picked up. These, now, they're not uh, like these model kit magazines. These are model railroader type magazines because I also like uh, model trains. Now, I have a model, I have a layout, but that layout, I haven't worked on it since like last summer, maybe even earlier summer before that so it, it needs a lot of repair um, but I still like that stuff and when I get the opportunity to, to fix it up again so I have the train running again uh, I like to kind of you know do that so see you in the next video